I've done it. I have finally done it. Well, you're probably asking, what have you done, Ethan? Well, I've finally achieved a goal I set out just over 12 months ago. I've reached YouTube monetization. Yep, today I'm going to be talking to you about how I've managed to reach YouTube monetization. It's taken me just over 12 months, over 100 videos, but I've reached that magical 4,000 watch hours, the 1,000 subscribers, and therefore I've got that tick of approval, I've got the monetization. I wanna share to you a little bit about why that was important to me, and it's not all about the money. And I also wanna talk to you about what's next for the channel and what I've rewarded with myself, which as a hint, it's right over there. So to get monetization, I had to get 4,000 watch hours. So that had to be over a 365 day period, a one year period. So it worked out to be about 11 watch hours a day. So that's 11 hours that people are watching my content for per day averaged over a whole year, which when I started out sounded pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy to think people watching 11 hours of footage of my videos, but I managed to get that. And at the moment I'm probably averaging 15 to 20 hours a day. So it's been really cool. And then the other side of it was to get the 1,000 subscribers, which as you'll see on my channel, I'm well over that. I'm at 1,350 subscribers now, which to think about that, if I was to go and give a talk in front of 1,300 people, it's pretty crazy to think about. So it's really cool that that many people have found the content interesting. And I do thank every single one of you that's watching that has hit subscribe or has contributed to those watch hours. I really do appreciate it. So people are probably thinking, oh what, do you think you're gonna get rich off this? Is it all about the money? Well, it's definitely not about that. At the moment, I'm making about three or $4 a day. It's definitely not about the money, but it was about setting a goal and achieving that goal that I'm really proud of because I worked really hard to get to that, but I did it by continuing to produce what I believe was valuable content, sticking to what I believe was true and making sure that I didn't defer from that at all during this journey. So whatever money I do make, it will be reinvested into the channel, which I'll get into soon. But the goal was to create valuable content, build a subscriber base, increase those watch hours, and achieve that goal and be consistent. That was the main thing that I was worried about when starting this is, could I actually be consistent? Could I get that one to two videos out a week? And I've been really proud of the number of videos I've been able to get out while still hoping they're all valuable videos. I didn't want to just pump out useless videos that I didn't feel were valuable. I want to continue to make sure each video provided value to my audience. There's definitely been challenges along the way. There's times where I've gone days with no subscribers or one day I think I had negative four subscribers. Days where I was getting only a couple hours watch time after six months of being on YouTube. There's definitely been challenges along the way. You have peaks where you go, wow, this channel's really growing and then it drops off. And that's the challenge, I suppose, of doing any kind of business or whether it's a YouTube channel, you are going to have peaks and then you're going to have lows. And it's trying to keep motivated during those lows, understanding that those lows are where you learn things so that then when you reach those peaks, you can then aim for higher peaks again. But there's definitely been so many positives to starting this channel. The first one would have to be that I'm a lot better public speaker. I've got a lot more confidence. I'm a lot better at explaining something because I've had to explain it to a broad audience. So I wanna make sure that it's explained in a really basic way that everyone's gonna understand and then I can dive in depth in the comments section or when people reach out to me. The second one would have to be that I've learned a lot about YouTube. So I've learned about growing a channel from scratch. So I started this obviously from nothing. So I've learned how to grow a channel, which I think has been really interesting because it's taught me a lot about marketing. And obviously because I run a business as well, that's been able to cross over to that and I've learned lessons for that. So the third one would be that I've learned so much about video editing and about videography. So I knew nothing about this starting. So I've had to learn about editing, what software to use. I've had to learn about cameras, about lighting, about microphones. And I've self-taught all of this through other YouTube videos. So that's been a really cool learning experience for me and definitely something I wanna double down on and learn more about. And then the final thing is I'm a lot more educated on the topics I talk about. So I've learned even more about tax, even more about personal finance, even more about investing because I've researched topics and then talked about them on my channel. Not everything I talk about I knew when I started. So I've definitely learned more along the way that's definitely helped me in my business and as well as producing value to my channel. So what did I go and do to reward myself for reaching monetization? Well, I've gone out and bought myself a camera. So this is the first video I'm filming on this camera. So we'll see how the editing goes a bit later. But I bought myself a Sony a7 III. I've gone and bought a lens with it. I don't know a lot about these things. So I'm definitely in the learning experience. To start with, I'm just using the basic settings and then learning things as I go. That's really exciting because I want to learn more about videography, photography, video editing, all those kinds of things. So I was really excited to reward myself with that. 
and then hopefully it will increase the quality of the videos on the channel. So what's next for the channel? Well, there's no particular goal as far as, oh, I need to get 5,000 subscribers or I need to get 10,000 or I need to make $1,000. It's more about me continually improving my delivery, my videos, making sure I'm continually innovating with what I talk about in the channel and finding more niches that people want to hear about. And most of it will just continue to provide value to my audience because that's the whole point of this channel from the start is to provide value to others. I thank every single one of you that's contributed to this. It really means the world to me. And I would love for you to go check out some of the other content on my channel. Make sure you check out some of the lives I do on Wednesday nights because they're really fun and they allow me to provide even more in-depth value to people where they can ask questions. And most of all, thank you again. And I'll talk to you again soon.